you consider it important because you identify with it. And this is, this is where, in order to let go of the identifications, this is where when we talked about yesterday about the different paths of yoga and, you know, the gyan yoga path, which is the path of wisdom or knowledge, it's so important because I have to, I have to first know I'm not the false self before I can have an experience of not being the false self. I have to go in somewhere, and there has to first be an awareness, even if it's just intellectual. But there has to first be the awareness, I'm not the body. I'm not the false identities. I'm not my ego. I'm not my fears. I'm not all of my sanskaras or my neuronal networks or however we think about it. So I have to at least first know that intellectually. And only then am I going to even be able to step into an experience of that. Only then can I meditate on the idea of I'm not the identities. And the minute that we accept, even if I haven't experienced, but we accept theoretically at least, that I'm not those identities, our whole way of thinking about them shifts. So I get in the car to leave the office and my brain is doing this. Again, he stole my project. Again, I was supposed to be the one, you know, who was going to get the credit for it. Again, he put his name on it and went to the boss and, you know, got all the credit. Or again, I worked so hard on something and nobody appreciated it. Or, again, our competitor came out with the same thing that we were inventing and somebody must have tipped them off because, you know, otherwise it was inconceivable and it's so unfair and all this, this stuff. So the brain is doing that. That's its habit. That's what it's always done. But now that you know that that's not who you are, then there's another aspect of you that comes in and says, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to go there. That's the voice that comes in and says, wait, let me chant my mantra instead. I don't have a mantra. Let me chant Om. Let me chant any mantra I know. Let me contemplate on the fact that I'm not this body. You can do it with your eyes open, driving a car just as easily as you can do it with your eyes closed. So what you've done, even though you haven't yet had that experience, is the awareness, the knowledge, is enough to start shifting your patterns of behavior, enough to start shifting your habits. So even though the mind is having those thoughts, you're not disturbed by them. You're able to look at them and understand, oh, those are just my habits. Truth is, this isn't important. I mean, if I am my career, then yeah, it's important. But if I know that I'm not, then actually what's much more important is experiencing who I am. You know, there's, there's a great, great um, story of a, uh, a spiritual seeker who says to his guru, you know, I, I want to I want to experience God, but it's not it's just not coming. I'm 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 meditating, I'm trying, but it's it's just not coming. And he said, um, you know, I find my mind wandering a lot, and I'm thinking about other things. And the guru takes him to a lake and holds his head underwater and keeps it there until the guy is literally thrashing, thrashing around. And finally, because it's, you know, the guru and not a murderer, he <laughs> lets him up and the guy comes up and he's, <gasps> you know, like you could imagine, you've been suffocated underwater. And the guru said, did you have any other thoughts during that time? <laughs> Were you thinking about anything other than I've got to get air, I've got to get air, I've got to get air. And the guy was like, of course not, I was dying. And the guru said, exactly. But what we don't realize the rest of the time is we're dying. We're dying spiritually. 
But only when you want God, the way that you want breath when you're being suffocated, then you don't have to, you don't need a month to get the other thoughts out of your mind. There are no other thoughts. And this, this is where the practice of, of introspection comes in. When I realize, where am I losing myself? Then suddenly, much more important than who said what in the office much more important than who's stealing whose ideas or whose projects or whatnot, becomes experiencing God, like getting breath. So just keep reminding yourself of that. Contemplate on it, such that when you sit to meditate, that becomes like someone gasping for air.